From any web page on VLREF.com, click on the Register button in the top right of the main menu. Here you will see the Ville Recreation District online registration system. For the best experience, or if you don't see the registration system on this page, click on the link to be redirected to the full store. If you are prompted to accept cookies, please do so in order for the system to work properly. Depending on what you want to purchase, select the corresponding tab from the system menu. To sign up for an activity, program, or league, use the Register tab. To purchase a Season Pass or complete an application, click on Season Passes and Applications. To reserve a facility, tennis, or pickleball court, click on Court and Facility Rentals. To view availability calendars, click on Calendars. For this example, we're going to show how to purchase a pickleball pass. Navigate to Season Passes and Applications and see the types of passes that are available for sale. To choose the type of pass that you want, click on the blue title. Once you click on the blue title, you'll be given more information about each pass type, including any discounts that are available for those passes. When you click on a blue icon to purchase an item or activity, you'll be prompted to log in. If this is your first time purchasing an activity with the system and you do not have an account, click Create an Account or choose one of the options in the right column if you would prefer to log in with an existing Facebook, Google, or Microsoft 365 account. Complete the fields. The account must belong to an adult 18 years or older. This person will be responsible for managing the account, paying invoices, and will be the main contact. You only need one Amelia user account per family. Once you have completed the fields, you'll receive a confirmation your account was successfully created. In order to go ahead with your purchase, please consent to sharing your Amelia profile with the Vail Recreation District by checking the box. On the screen, you'll be asked to choose the person for whom you're purchasing the pass. If you're unable to select one of the names on the screen, you may see that more information is required. Click on that to add any of the information that is missing in the account. In this case, I'm missing a date of birth, so I'll add that now. Now I see that I'm able to add this person to my account. The next screen is going to ask me to confirm my address if I haven't already added an address into my account. This is helpful because many of our passes and activities give discounts for Vail residents. As you start to type in your address, the system will prompt you with other addresses that it recognizes from its database. If you see the address appear as you're typing, go ahead and click on it from the menu below. This will save you time and also make sure that the address is formatted properly to be accepted by the system. Now I see there's a green check mark next to my name. That means I have now added this pass for this individual into my cart. If I'd like to purchase the pass for an additional person, I may add multiple family members to this screen by clicking on add another person. I'll then be prompted to enter their first name, last name, select whether they're a child or adult, and enter their date of birth. Now to add a second person, I click on the person plus icon and I will again be asked to add their address. I now see that I have two people added to my cart. You can add additional family members on the screen by clicking on add another person. They will become members in your account. You only need to add an account member once, but add as many as you need, as long as they're all within your family. You only need one Amelia user account per family. Once I've selected who I'm purchasing the pass for, I can then proceed to the checkout. On the checkout screen, please confirm your information as to who you're purchasing the passes for and check to see that any discounts you're expecting have been added. If you have a rebate or coupon code, you can add that on this screen. Now I'm proceeding to checkout. When I check out, I will be asked for additional information on each of the members that I've registered for the activity or the pass. You'll see here now I'm working on the account owner's information. As I make additional purchases in the future, the system will remember any information that I enter now. It's already added in the address I entered in the last step, and now it's asking me for a phone number. 
You'll only need to enter in one phone number in order to proceed, but it's great to give us more if you'd like. Please enter a home phone, work phone, or cellular number into one of the boxes below. Now it's asking me for information specific to the type of activity that I've signed up for. Here I'm going to choose my gender and I'm going to add in a mailing address. I'm also asked to accept the VRD waiver on this page. By clicking on Read Me, I'll read through the waiver and choose Accept. Now it's asking me for the information for the second person that I added to the account. I know this because they are highlighted in the left column. I'll add one phone number for this person. I'll select their gender, add an email address, and also agree to the VRD waiver. The next screen will ask me to confirm that my information is still up to date, and then I will continue my purchase. Here I'll enter my payment information. If I want to, and I know I'll be purchasing more items from the VRD in the future, a good idea is to save your card to your account, which will make checkout faster and easier in the future. You'll also need to accept the terms and conditions and then continue and make payment. Finally, I'll receive a confirmation on the next screen that my payment was successful, or if I have any issues, it will alert me to what those are. To reserve a court, I'll now navigate to the Court and Facility Rentals tab. Here I'll be shown the different courts and facilities that are available for rent from the Vail Recreation District. Across the top of the page, you'll see a number of filters that will help me to find what's available. For this example, I'm looking to see what's available today for pickleball courts. I type in the facility type of pickleball court, I put in the date that I'm looking for, and I hit apply filters. It now shows me that there's three courts available today. To reserve one of the courts, I click on the court that I would prefer, and then I look at the calendar here, and any dates that are available are highlighted in blue. When I click on the date, I'll be given the different times that are available for that day that have not yet been reserved. To reserve my desired time, I click on the date and then I click on the time. On the next screen, I'm being asked to choose which participant that exists within my account is reserving the court. I click the button to add to my cart and I get a confirmation that the item has been added to my cart. Since that's all I want to purchase for the example, I now choose the button to check out. On the next screen, I'm asked to confirm that what I've chosen is correct. Here I'm seeing that I'm renting Pickleball Court 1, November 11th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. The regular court rental fee is $40. Because my account holder is a Vail resident, they're being given a $15 discount. And then because they're a pass holder, the price is being taken down to $0. Only one person needs to reserve the court for your group. To complete my purchase, I'll hit the checkout button, and then I'll again be asked to verify the information that I've supplied during other purchases. Here I'll verify my address, my email, and my phone number, and hit continue my purchase. This screen is showing me that I've already confirmed my email address, and I've agreed to the VRD waiver. I can hit continue my purchase, and now I have a confirmation that my court has been booked. Because this person was a pass holder, I'm not being charged at the time of purchase. If you were not a pass holder, you will be charged the court fee at this time, and you'll be shown a screen where you can enter your payment information. I've now shown you how quick and easy it is to book a court reservation through the Vail Recreation District's registration software called Amelia. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the court.